Hello again and welcome. A couple of new additions to the tank over the last couple of days. Recordia, there are two there. One at the bottom is called Superman something or other. It's closed up now because the, uh, the lights are ramping down ready for the moonlight at nine o'clock in about 10 minutes. And that one up there. So each head's going to get to around about four inches in diameter. That little blue beastie at the back there has actually got two new heads, bottom right hand side, won't be able to see them from here. But they are just on the bottom there, you can see one sticking out and there's another one directly behind that. So that's settled in very nicely there. Trochus snails today. To make sure that this algae stays down it is going bit by bit anyway scoby in his home in there so much sand Look. <laughs> there's this massive massive mound of the stuff you can see that there it's about two inches and then there's another two inches up to its mound and there's even more over the top Deary me. Love it. The Zoa up here, there are three heads on there. There's actually now another four heads. One you can see on the bottom right hand part of it there, it's closed up. I mean, they are closed up now, I'm filming a bit late really. There's one at the top, that's two. There's one, you just can't quite see, it's the top right hand polyp there's one at the base of that and there's also another one um, in between those two two polyps there there's another one you can just see them underneath the right hand one so that's also sitting there very nicely and uh, happy by the looks of things so things are going well rainbow trachyphilia there seems to like it there puffs up very nicely feed him on the odd occasion grabs it and closes up It's really got some nice um, orange on it, which is probably not being picked up by this uh, by this lens. We'll see. But looking at it with the naked eye, it's um, very very dark chocolate colour with these bright orange spots. Interesting when their mouths come out as well. They're like little pipes. The papaya clove is doing very very well now. It's sending out tendrils. It's very good. You can see one on the right hand side just behind the trochus snail. That's got two heads on it, and I think another one, I can just see another little white spot a bit further on on it, that's be another head. And it's sent out at the back of it there, about three tendrils onto that rock, and they've got um, white spots on them which will become heads. And just over to the right, a bit difficult to see, but there's um, another tendril gone out over to the rock Everest there, and that's got one head on it so far. So that's now settling in very nicely as well. And Fenway Cooper. These others, one of the heads fell away. So I popped him up there, see what happens. I've also moved one of the other Zoel Gardens up to there. <laughs> Interesting to see the spaghetti worms at the bottom there arms or whatever they are, their feelers coming out, trying to get detritus, so that's helpful. These Goniophoras are really quite something else at the moment. They really are beautiful. So many new heads on them as well. It's just cramming itself with new heads. That one and this one. So many new heads on them. As well as doing well, he's got little heads crammed into the middle. or something similar, I actually managed to turn it around, the um, <laughs> hermit crabs get hold of it and start moving it around. It is so top heavy on that plug anyway, I'm probably just going to leave it there and see what happens. Lash GSP there is doing very well. Uh, there was a little spot smack in the middle there, almost like a crescent shape, 
and that grew about four or five heads along its rim, which you can't see now, but they are doing very well um, in this light. Staggering. Green tip torch, gorgeous, gorgeous. These lights at the moment. Low light, low flow, so it should be happy there. And the one underneath it was open very, very well yesterday, but um, I had to move him down. As you can see, that white spot to the left of the recorder, the orange recorder there, um, I just knocked it as I was trying to put that in. Very difficult because it's a two and a half feet long tank, and my arm's not that flipping long. So I popped him down there. Very active now, this time of night. But the nibbler goes up to him, opens his mouth and lets the cleaner shrimp have a good look in his mouth. Dental checkup, two to three times a day. <laughs> you appreciate it. I hope you find it interesting. Just a general update. Nothing fantastic going on at the moment, apart from a couple of additions and the two new, new heads on that little beastie at the back. So now it's just a matter really of making sure the water quality is okay. The ammonia is zero, nitrite zero, nitrates are less than two, somewhere between zero and two on the scale at the moment. Probably higher than that in actual fact because of the amount of algae that there is. I've got a bit of hair algae still hiding in the sun. I think I'll be taking that out and that shouldn't get too bad. I've got chato in there. Red Sea Reef, the Skinner 600, they're doing its job, amazing thing. All good. So thank you very much for watching. If you subscribe, thank you very much. If you do want to subscribe, please do. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button twice. Bop, bop. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.